The DJI Air Series has always been small but mighty, but this latest edition is the most powerful yet. You're looking right here at the DJI Air 3, which is the newest addition to the Air line. It came out this summer, that's July 2023, and I've got one of the first versions of it that was shipped. This is the DJI Air 3 with DJI RC2. This drone ships in a few different combinations based on the controller you get. So it starts at $1,099. There's a version that's $1,350. And this version is $1,550. I wanted nothing but the best when it comes to the controller. So let's go ahead and open this thing. This is my cheese knife and we're gonna use it to open the box. There are a few standout features with the Air 3. Some things that are noticeable is 46 minutes of flight time, it's got omnidirectional optical sensing, and finally it has an 04 HD video transmission system. But what you're really gonna notice is something physical. It is the two cameras in front. A few DJI drones have two cameras, but this is the first time we've seen two cameras in a drone that's in a line as low cost as the Air 3. All right, time for the big reveal. Here we go, and it is beautiful. I'm looking right now at the case that you get when you purchase the Fly More Combo. So the box is now empty. Everything inside that you need is in this perfect little case. The case is super easy to open, and from here we've got everything sealed in its neat little packaging. This is a bunch of propellers. We'll see if I actually need to open these because these might just be extra. There might be some on the drone. I guess we'll find out. This is the drone itself. It's obviously going to be much bigger than the mini line, but smaller than the Mavic line. And here is the reveal of the drone. Like pretty much all the drones that DJI makes, at least in their consumer lineup, it's nice and portable, folds up. We are going to have to pop on the propellers. They give us this nice little lens cover. This is exactly what I want to show you, is the dual cameras. Again, the Air is the first drone in this series to have dual cameras. The first is the equivalent of a 70 millimeter camera. This is f2.8 aperture, that's the one on the top. The one on the bottom is the equivalent of 24 millimeters, and that one's going to have an aperture of f1.7. Both of these cameras are capable of shooting 48 megapixel photos. This is really useful for situations where you can't bring your drone in physically close to the object. A good sort of real life example is if you're a wedding photographer. You don't want this loud drone flying right over the wedding audience, but you still want to capture the bride and groom at the altar. So if you have this telephoto lens, you can keep the drone far back, not distract the people trying to enjoy the wedding, but you can still get the shot that you need. You'll also notice omnidirectional obstacle sensing. So rather than just the four obstacle sensors that we've seen in past air drones, we'll actually see obstacle sensors on all sides that really makes this drone far closer to crash proof than its predecessors. And finally, in the back here, we've got the battery. 46 minutes of flight time. This is brand new for the airline to have flight time this long, so this is a great addition. Now these cameras, like most of the other DJI drones, are capable of those smart shooting modes. These are things like active track, where it can follow a subject, hyperlapse, which is basically a fancier version of a time lapse. One thing that's really cool about the Air 3 is that it can also shoot in that vertical filming mode. So typically videos like the one you're watching right now are horizontal, but as people produce videos that they want to share on TikTok and Instagram, that vertical video is really important. So this is the first drone in the airline that is able to shoot dedicated vertical video. With the Fly More Kit, it's always nice because you have all the accessories that you might not need, but it's always nice to have. Up here at the top is my quick start guide. Always read the manual. One of my good friends used to write drone manuals, so in her honor, let's all read the instructions. Here is the DJI RC2 controller. This controller is really nice because we actually have a screen built in. I really don't like when I have to rely on my smartphone. One, because my iPhone is old and it always runs out of batteries really quickly. But two, it's just two different devices that you have to worry about. A DJI product talking to an Apple product or whatever smartphone or tablet you're using. 
with this, I don't need to rely on my smartphone because I can see exactly what the drone is seeing on this built-in screen right here. I can control the camera settings, all that, and see what my battery life is, all from here is really convenient. You will notice that this does have antennas, which some past models did have antennas, but they were built in. Now we can physically see them. And then there's just a couple little dials, like you can press this to take the photo, you can press this to record. Um, and then you'll also see we're going to have to find the little sticks so we can actually control the drone. DJI has a stick separately because it just makes it more portable. While I'm holding this controller, let's go ahead and talk about that new O4 video transmission system. People want to know how far can this drone actually go, and with the improved O4, you're looking at 20 kilometers of transmission distance. You're also looking at an improved live feed, which is really great if you want people on the ground to be able to see what your drone is seeing, not just in real time, but in real time with high quality. With this, you're looking at 1080 by 60 frames per second. Of course, with the launch of the new Air 3 drone comes all new accessories. So right here, I'm holding a set of ND filters, which you can buy for the drone. I talk a lot more in detail on my site about what you can actually use ND filters for, but the TLDR is that these are great to use when you're flying in really bright daylight, like at high noon, and you want to eliminate those really strong shadows. Um, this is good for filming in bright settings and can help improve your image quality. It's nice that DJI launches this. Of course, the downfall is that you can't use your old set of ND filters if you have one for a pass drone because, of course, there's these two cameras, so the structure of the lens is completely different, so you are going to have to pay for a new set of ND filters if that's what you want. Ooh, I know what this is. This is not just some spare batteries, but this is a charging station. This is called the DJI Air 3 Charging Hub. If I have one battery that has 10% battery life, another that has 10% battery life, my third battery in my drone also has 10% battery life. I'm not taking off a flight that has less than 10% battery life. I'm sorry, I'm risk averse. But what's cool about this piece of technology is that you can actually press a button and it'll transfer the power from one of these batteries to the other and then one to the other. So that way we can have a bunch of kind of charged batteries and make one really charged battery. And that is pretty much all we have inside is a nice little kit. I always love that DJI makes bags custom designed to the drone to make sure that everything you need fits inside. So these propellers, you can buy them pretty cheaply a la carte, but it's never a bad idea to have too many propellers. Here are a bunch, so many. Wow, DJI really went wild. How many did they give me? Go ahead. We're flying propellers everywhere. Let's go ahead and put this on the drone. So before we go out and fly, I want to give you sort of an idea of who this drone is for. It's great for someone who is an enthusiast, someone interested in drones, but it's definitely a step up from the mini line. If you're brand new to drones, you're not sure that this is something that's a hobby that you really want to get into, you might want to start with the mini, just given the price point. Uh, it's going to cost at least $1,000, but like the one that I have here, more like $1,500. That said, this is a great alternative to something like the Mavic. If you can't afford the new Mavic 3, which is going to cost you even more than this, then this is a great drone, especially given the improvements. You have this dual camera, means that this is something that even serious photographers, if you're filming weddings or real estate, this could be a really, really great drone for you. I'm excited to say, take this thing out on the road, so I'm gonna stop talking, but if you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, hit up my site, thedronegirl.com, to read my full review after I take this thing up in the air. For now, happy flying. Of all of the DJI consumer drones, which one is your favorite? Leave a comment.